Welcome back to the Elements of Fate with Jasmine Wallace. I am your spiritual life coach and tarot oracle reader. I'm going to do a reading for Libra. It's timeless. This will not resonate with all Libras. Please book a private reading at the elements of dot, elementsoffate.com. Check out the information in the description box if you're looking to donate. Show some reciprocity. This will help my channel grow and it shows your appreciation for all the time that I put into the readings for you guys. Um, so let's go ahead and get started with a Celtic spray for Libra. Coming into the current energy spirit, what do we have for Libra? Ooh, okay. All righty. Whew, we starting off strong, okay. We're coming in hot and strong with this Mars energy, okay. This is like Scorpionic Aries energy here. So I feel like there could be a breakdown here, okay? Did something happen here? Was there a breakdown of some sort? Ultimately, we all know that breakdowns are breakthroughs, but this feels like a really hard decision that you had to make. Regarding matters of the heart or the emotions that is breaking you down inside. So at the bottom of the deck, it's like there's a relationship. Uh, maybe you guys tried to reconcile with someone and it went wrong, okay? Maybe you guys tried to come up with someone. You know how they have the sit-downs and mediations and then you guys, someone is not able to communicate in a mature way so it goes left, okay? Because you do have the five of cups. So it does show me with this energy here that there was some type of reconciliation that went left. Maybe we have some regrets about how you spoke uh, in this mediation or this coming togetherness with this person that you love, care about, that you have feelings for, okay? Let's go ahead and look at the overall energy. Okay. Alrighty, so this has to do with a third party situation for sure with the three of pentacles, three of swords. This is somebody that you could have worked with, you you met at work, you are working with or wanting to work with. Maybe it's someone you had an issue with at work or someone you're trying to work some things out with, okay? I do feel like you guys weren't able to know with the five of pentacles again. It just feels like something is not working out, okay? It feels like... Okay, some of you, I feel like someone got thrown out the house here. You could have put somebody out the house. Like, this ain't working, get out, okay? I feel like someone closed the door, like, on someone for sure here. And, and it, it has to do with a third-party situation here. Um, what's, what's the past energy for Libra, Spirit? What is the past energy for Libra? What is the past energy for Libra? Nine of Pentacles. Let's see what's at the bottom of the, um, sorry, I said nine of pentacles. <laughs> this is the queen of pentacles. Goddess of pentacles in this deck. So it does look like here, this is a mother who has a child here. There's an ending coming. Okay, so I feel like someone had harsh words. You could have had harsh words with your mother. Or you could be a mother that had harsh words with your child. Or you could be a mother that had harsh words with your partner in regards of your child here. I feel like you guys could be dealing with a Scorpio for sure. Scorpio energy is here heavy or Aries. Or there was just a dramatic ending that happened with this tower. And now this death card showing up in the Ten of Swords, showing up with the Five of Swords. We have seen three fives, the Five of Cups, the Five of Pentacles, and the Five of Swords. This is a major disruption, especially with the Tower card, the Three of Swords, the Ten of Swords. This is a bad conversation. This is not good. This is um, someone who is lying or manipulating um, this is, this is a blow up <laughs> and, and, and it, it doesn't feel like a comfortable one either. It could be a blow up surrounding commitment that you do want to move forward in. Um, you could be dating a, a Virgo here with the magician card. Um, you could be dating a cancer as well or a Gemini, but I feel like there's a, um, or this could be anybody you're in connection with. I feel like there was a, a blow up. This could be in regards of money as well, they're telling me. Maybe someone didn't bring you the money that they said. He could be like, hey, um, you know, they always say sometimes they people don't have the same energy in which they borrow money from you. <laughs> so you could be like, hey, do you have that money? You know, come to go get your money or whatever. 
I also feel like someone had wrecked someone's car. This is what they're telling me. Someone had wrecked someone's car and someone is refusing to pay money for the car that they wrecked. Okay, maybe they said, oh my gosh, I got a scratch in your car. I got in a car accident and they agreed to pay it because they felt like that was the right thing to say, but they had no intentions in doing it. For some reason, I feel like someone needs money for a car. And you've been waiting on the money. You expected that the person would pay the money, but they, they haven't. Um, that's, that's very specific to someone. Um, yeah, but I feel like you guys are arguing in a relationship or connection was ended due to someone not paying you your money. And it feels like you were trying to work with them and be patient with them. Oh, this could be someone in your household here with the Ten of Pentacles. Your energy is everywhere. Someone you're very close to. This could be a sister, a mother, someone you are in close connection with. This could be a husband because I just seen um, the King of Pentacles and we do have the Queen of Pentacles here. Why is this all happening? Why is this all happening for Libra? Why is this all happening, Spirit? Thank you. This is a hard read, honey. Some hard energy. Yeah, this is... Four of Cups, this is like, I don't want to talk to you about it no more. It doesn't seem like we can come to a resolution. You said what you said. You said you was going to give me my money um, and you haven't paid me. I know you go to work. I see you at work. This could be someone you work with or someone. It feels like they're very close with the Ten of Pentacles. I feel like this person could be very, very close to you. Because um, I don't feel like you would be this hurt if this person wasn't close. Because it feels like the expectations are higher. Yeah, so there you go again. Pentacles. You guys could be dealing with any earth sign. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo here. Um, if I, it feels like somebody is saying, like, I don't even want that money anymore. Like, if you have an energy surrounded about uh, around it. Um, so, for some of you, I feel like some of you say, I don't want that money anymore. Um, I feel like whatever argument that some of you guys had, now they're willing to give you the money or something. I feel like someone's willing to pay on it. Um, and I feel like you want your money how you received it. A lot of people don't like, don't, did I give you an installment when you gave me my money? No, I want my $250 how I gave it to you. I don't want 250 cents today, 250 cents tomorrow, and 250 cents next week. I want $250 how I gave it to you. How are you viewing yourself in the situation? You feel like you deserve to have your money back, rightfully so. Yeah, this is someone you're closest close to. This could be a, a close friend again, a close. It's a it's a kindred ship. I feel like it's a close um, friend. Yeah, there, there goes Eight of Pentacles again. You guys could be dealing with a uh, <laughs> a uh, 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 Earth sign for sure. Um, so the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so a lot of you feel like the situation will work itself out. Some of you are deciding to focus on work. I feel like some of you might work with this person. So it's like, I'm just going to focus on my work and not pay attention to the outside things that are going on here because it will distract me. So I feel like you guys are using work as a distraction here. Clarify this eight of pentacles, please. And thank you, Spirit, for Libra. Yeah, so you guys are really, really trying to stay in your work to not be distracted. Okay, what can I focus on? I'd rather indulge in this because that's the energy that I don't want to touch on over there. It seems to be quite disruptive. So yeah, I feel like you guys view the situation as something that you guys want to work out, eventually will work out. And you guys feel view yourselves in a situation as someone that needs to just focus on work. Okay, so either one of those. Um, what is the surprise energy manifest? And I feel like you're going to get what you asked for. Yay. You guys are going to get that money. Look at that. <laughs> you guys are going to get that money. Yep. It's coming. It's coming. And I feel like they're going to pay you how, um, you wanted them to pay you. Okay. It kind of, I almost felt like, do you want me to send it cash app or do you want me, because it feels like this, someone's kind of trying to be like funny about it. You said you want your money how you, I gave it to you, but do you, since like the argument and we might not can do this in person, um, do you want me to give it to you via cash app, PayPal, Apple Pay, or should I bring it in person? I mean, because it's $250, but I know you gave it to me in person. And I drove to the, this is an example. You drove, we drove to the bank. Do I need to drive to the bank and give it to you in front of the bank account like you did? 
Do you want to exactly how I gave it back to you? Or is cash at fine? That's, it just feels really petty, okay? People, somebody has some inner emotions that they want to work out, but it feels like, they, you know, some people can't help to be petty. What is your um, hopes and fears with this situation? What is your hopes and fears in this situation? All right, that you're, you you hope that the this person paying your money or giving you whatever it is, whatever this broke down breakdown was, you hope that it can it just be resolved and everything go back to good. Okay, it feels like you don't like the disconnection within this. You enjoy the connection with this with the nine of cups here, and I feel like you spoke on that, or you're going to speak that. Hey, I don't appreciate the dis. You know, because Vir Libras are very Virgo about you know their emotions. They like to have a common ground. They like to be in a win-win uh, situation with both uh, parties, even their self if they were individually hurt. I hope that we can move past this. Thank you for paying my money or thank you for understanding. Thank you, whatever. Um, but I want to be able to not feel this isolation of surrounded around something that we can easily resolve, okay? But where, there goes another. You guys have had all five show up. This is conflict at its finest, okay? You guys are in great conflict with someone, but I feel like you want to make sure that there is a reconciliation because you, again, you guys have a reconciliation card and it's like, can we reconcile this or not? Like it's perfectly capable. I feel like this thing was blown out of proportion or at least that's how I'm perceiving it through the re reading. What is the outcome? May I have three cards for the outcome? I do feel like someone is I feel like I can love you for from a distance, okay? Because this person is alone on a rock. So maybe the outcome is loving someone from a distance. I can love you from a distance, okay? Yeah. Even though it hurts, I can love you from a distance, okay? I feel like even the distance hurt, but like after a while, that feeling starts minimizing because you start um, focusing on other things and you know that it will be healthier to love this toxic person from a distance, Okay. And that's actually what I'm going to name this reading. One second. Yeah, I feel like you guys made a judgment call surrounding the energy, trying to fix the situation. I feel like you, the the outcome is I could love you from a distance. Okay, that is that's the outcome. Okay, I hope that you guys are join, enjoying this reading so far. If so, please like, subscribe, and share. Comment on my channel to tell me how this resonates with you. Um, also, feel free to donate. I don't care if it's $5, $2, $10, $100. Um, if you want to <laughs> donate and show appreciation for the information, insight, and guidance that I give throughout the reading, or you just love to hear my voice or see my hands shuffle and you're like, oh my God, I want to pay her. Um, feel free so to do so. Feel free to do so. The information is in the description box, okay? What um, advice do we have? Surrender to the divine, okay? So I could love you from a distance means that we're going to allow God, whoever, to heal this. Someone's like, I'm going to give it to God, okay? I'm going to give it to God. This is not my fight. Not every fight is your fight, and I feel like you're discovering that. It's time to take action, which is so interesting because I did see, I felt Aries energy when I was meditating quickly in the beginning. It's time to take action. So I feel like you guys are taking action in a different direction from this disruption, this connection. I feel like you guys, again, with this, I feel like you guys are taking action within your work, okay? I got other shit to do. The answers you need are coming. So uh, I feel like whatever answers you're needing as far as if you're going to get this money back, um, which I feel like it's for a lot of you, um, that you are. I did see that you are going to get it back. Um, work through your fears. Okay, work through your fears. So there's some emotions that you need to work out when it comes to connections and codependency or sticking with toxic connections, okay? Why do I seem to get myself into these situations where it's always this huge breakdown? Ultimately, there's always a valuable lesson learned where you can learn to take a different course of action or direction. And I feel like they're really honing on to that. What is it that this situation 
connection, relationship, circumstance is showing you. So allow this major conflict to show you how you can prevent this from happening in the future. Balance. Wow, what a Libra card, okay? Balance. So I do feel like a lot of you are trying to bring things back in balance. You guys are wanting to stay in balance. So you guys are going to do things that you feel like do bring you balance, like retreat, a peace of mind, being alone. It's time to balance out your thoughts and the confusion surrounding how you feel about this uh, scenario. Having gratitude for all the information that you received throughout this scenario. Uh, having gratitude that you work through your fears um, when it comes to this scenario. I feel like you guys do need to go uh, to the beach, to the stream, to be in solitude, to work out how you truly feel about this. Some people don't enter or access their emotions or that feelings because they're scared to go back in that realm of discomfort and sit there. I have done it many times. It is excruciating. But when I come out, I feel liberated. I feel alive and I feel accomplished and achieved and simultaneously a new door opens because my guys are like, good job, job well done. You did the hard work and we're going to pay you out for that. So just keep that and put that into perspective. I hope this reading helped. Um, please, again, reach out to me uh, through my website, theelementsoffaith.com. You can feel free to inbox me, like my business page. Again, all the information's in the description box. Peace.